Hi, this is Tomonori,、uh, your instructor for Japanese class.、Uh, today we're going to talk about Tara.、Okay. So, Tara is one of the four major conditionals in Japanese. So,、uh, by conditionals,、uh, I mean something similar to English if. So,、uh, if something on certain condition,、uh, something happens.、Okay. Uh, like in English, so English also has a several different k i n d of conditionals like if, when, whenever,、uh, something, you know, th- there are quite a few more.、Uh, in Japanese, there are four major conditionals. The first one is to,、uh, second one is ba, and third one is tara, and last one is nara. And in this chapter, Uh, we will talk about Tara,、uh, which is the most neutral、uh, without any、uh, presupposition about the situation. So it's kind of like a default、uh, conditional in Japanese. Okay, so A, Tara, B means、uh, something like event, action, or situation in B. Happens only if the first one, condition A, is met. So if A happens, then B. Okay.、Um, Tara、uh, is actually the combination of the ta form and la. So it's in a way very simple.、Uh, you always use ta form,、uh, past plain form, plus la to create Tara. And it's a little bit confusing because ta form、uh, is. Since ta form is also called past plain form,、um, it's past form. Tara has nothing to do with the tense. So it doesn't mean it happens uh, at some point. Uh,、um, has nothing to do with the past. Okay.、Uh, so in a way, it's very similar with Taho Kai. Meaning you should. Right. And we use the Ta form. For taho ga i, but again,、uh, taho ga i has nothing to do with the past. We just happen to use ta form to indicate the should, but、uh, we just use the past form in order to indicate the should. In the same way, in order to indicate the combination of tara,、uh, in, uh, in order to indicate the conditional with tara, we use ta form. So let's see the example. Kono kaban ga yasu katta ra kaimas. Again, this is ta form. And、uh, this is condition A. And this is condition B. So if the back is cheap, I will buy it. So, this one, コーヒーを飲んだら元気になります。If I drink coffee, I become 元気。Um, and the next two examples, just to illustrate,、uh, タラ has nothing to do with the past tense. So, what we care is the tense of conditional, condition B. So, The tense of condition B、uh, indicates if it happened or not. Okay? So, example, first example is Gakko ni ittara sensei ni aimas. If I go to school, I will see the teacher. Gakko ni ittara sensei ni aimashita. So, it If you translate, it's almost like when I went to school, I saw the teacher. Because the past tense here 
Mashita tells everything already happened. So the first one is uh, hasn't happened yet. Sensei ni aimasu is uh, when I go to school, I will see the teacher. The second one is when I went to school, I met the teacher. I saw the teacher. Okay. So again, tara has nothing to do with the tense. So this has nothing. It doesn't indicate anything about if it, the event happens or not. The tense in the condition of B tells you whether a uh, situation has already happened. Okay, um, so for the negative, so sometimes you want to say if something didn't happen or if something doesn't happen, I will do this. Okay, for that we use the plain plus negative. Okay, so we say. このカバンが安くなかったら買いません If this bag is not cheap, I won't buy it. コーヒーを飲まなかったら眠くなります If I don't drink coffee, I get sleepy. マクドナルドに行かなかったら寿司を食べます マクドナルドに行かなかったら寿司を食べます If I don't go to McDonald's, I'll eat sushi oh, There's a typo here Typo Okay uh, So for uh, For the uh, negative conditional We use plain past negative Instead of tough form Okay, so, um, oh, one more. <laughs> um, oh, yes, uh, so, tara, so, like I said, there are different kind of conditionals in Japanese. Uh, tara doesn't uh, indicate um, any other uh, condition A is likely to happen or not. So it's, it's perfectly neutral in a way. So you can say uh, things like sensei ni attara nihongo no shikudai o shitsumon shiyou to omoimasu. Sensei ni attara nihongo no shikudai no shitsumon o shiyou to omoimasu. If uh, and only if uh, if I see the teacher, I ask a question about the Japanese homework. So this one doesn't say anything about the, uh, you are going to meet with a teacher or not. Uh, it's perfectly uh, neutral. And uh, it's just by chance. Okay, so you may or you may not see the teacher. Hachiji ni nattara, sensei ni denwa shimasu. Hachiji ni nattara, sensei ni denwa shimasu. So you see that hachiji ni nattara, it always happens, right? So it's impossible that the, the time reaches the 8 o'clock. So this happens all the time, but the uh, you can still use tara. Um, so these two are quite different. So first one is uh, may or may not happen. The second one always happens. Okay, but you can still use tara because tara is most neutral conditional. And tara can also indicate a hypothetical condition, uh, something unreal. Okay, so you can say okane mochi datara Manhattan de ie o kaimasu. If I were rich, uh, I would buy a house in Manhattan. Uh, if I were jellyfish, I would swim all day. Okay. So uh, you have exercises to do and if you have a questions, ask your teacher. Thank you.